Mr. Solution here. So on today's episode, we'll be looking at the various orders on Binance Exchange, but mostly we're focusing on limit order, how to place limit order on Binance Exchange. And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button so that if there is any video I upload, you will be alerted about it. All right, so let's go to the trade section of the Binance app. Okay, this we are at the trade section. So assuming that you want to place an order, you have you want to place an order, and we are using Ethereum NGN as an instance. Okay, we are using it for the purpose of this class. Assuming you want to buy Ethereum NGN, and let's look at the chart. Let's see what the chart is saying. Okay, okay. Let's. This is the chart right now, and the current price is. 282,899 roughly 282,900 okay let's say that's the price but then you believe you you think that this the price now that it is at the resistance okay so because it's at the resistance two things are involved either it goes back to the support either it tests the resistance and then goes back to the support or it breaks through the resistance okay so you do not want to miss out you believe that it's going to shoot up it's going to break through the resistance and start going up so, and then you do not want to miss out you do not want to miss out on the trade okay you just want to be there you want to partake in the trade and you don't have all the time to come and be monitoring the chart okay remember we said that hypothetically that it's trading at it 282,800 we are just assuming okay we are assuming that the current price is 282,900 okay that's the assumed price okay so you want to buy now you do not want to miss out you do not want to miss out if it eventually breaks through the resistance and then starts going up okay and then we, you remember we said that hypothetically that is trading at 282,800 now what you're going to do is to use stop limit order okay to use the stop limit just see where you get that see where you get the order here yeah? to so select the stop limit price at this point this place that shows limits okay so you go right there click on you see the drop down then you select stop limit okay once you select stop limit we see these various things that pop up we see you will see the stop price okay you will see the stop here you will see the stop you will see the stop you will see the limit then amount okay then finally you see the total okay so the question now arises how do you know what to fill in the various blank spaces okay Remember we said that currently it is trading at 282,900, okay? So you're believing that if it eventually should, if it eventually breaks through the resistance, that is going to go up. So what you want to do now is to buy, you just want to partake in the trade. You don't want to miss out if it eventually shoots up, maybe and probably starts going to 285,000, okay? So what you're going to do is to use a stop limit price. How do you do that? You go to this stop. This place that the root stop, the current price is what two hundred and eighty-two thousand eight hundred and ninety-nine. You could put two hundred and eighty-two thousand nine hundred, okay. Or alternatively, you could put two hundred and eighty-two thousand nine hundred and one, okay. And then you come to this limit price. This this limit now put the price you want to buy it probably want to buy it at you believe that if eventually crosses to let's say 282,905 that it will shoot up to 285,000 or whatever target it is you have in mind then you go right ahead and put 282,905 okay Go ahead, go right ahead and put it there. Then you select the amount, the the amount you want to buy. Is it are you you want to buy with twenty five percent of your funds, fifty percent, seventy five percent, hundred percent? As the case may be, just go right ahead and select it. Okay, I think I have it. I have some just a little amount, six k or thereabouts. Okay, you could just go right ahead and select it. Then after you must have done that, you will see a question near that props up. Okay, a question comes up here that asks you if you okay see what they said if the last price rises to or above 282,901 naira and order to buy 0 
Ethereum at a price of 282,905 will be placed. That is correct. So what this thing actually means is that if eventually, if even, I don't want to buy now, if eventually price rises, of course it has risen to that. It has it current price is, uh, is I think 282,903. That's the cheap, the highest bid price. Eh? Okay. So what it means is that eventually price gets to 282,901. This my order now will be placed among the bits here among the various bits here. remember we have the axe price we have the bit price okay we have the act axe we have the bid okay so my price will now be in the order book as it is now if i go right ahead and place this order it will not occur in the order book but if eventually price gets to this 282,901 remember we are still working with our the hypothetical 200 and it's 2,900, okay? We are just assuming that price hasn't gotten to this very amount, even though it has gotten to that amount now, okay? So what it means is that if eventually price gets to 282,901, this my price now will be triggered. It will now come and join those ones in the other book. It will now come and join the ones, say, okay? It will now come and join. But as it, as it is now, if I go right ahead and place on buy is not going to occur it's not going to show here it will only show when price eventually gets to this 282,901 if price gets to that then this 282,905 will now come and be here and join those in on the queue okay and then it will eventually buy okay so this is just one of the techniques or one of the tricks you can use to mitigate against losses okay because you believe that yeah it's going to get 285,000 but you are not sure you are not too certain you just want to be very very sure that if this thing crosses this resistance okay that the next place is going to get to is maybe at this at maybe at 285 or maybe higher okay but you just want to be very very sure so if eventually price doesn't get 200 and um 282,905 what happens is that your order won't be executed okay so your money will still be safe there if market continues to drop your money is very very safe with you so this is just one of the techniques or this is just one of the ways you can use to mitigate against unnecessary losses i hope the video has been explanatory enough and if you have any question anything any concern you want us to look at you can check me out on any of my social media channels my whatsapp is there you can connect with me on telegram okay you can join my signal group on telegram as well and i will see you in the next episode stay cool